On today's episode of Home Media Minefield, I'm going to be reviewing the Arrow Video 4K edition of David Cronenberg's Crash, coming up. Hello, I'm Keith and welcome to Home Media Minefield, helping you with information to navigate the complexities of home cinema and home media entertainment. And for today's episode, I am reviewing the Arrow Video 4K UHD release of David Cronenberg's Crash, the 1996 psychological thriller. Now this film's previously been available on DVD and Blu-ray, but this is the first time around getting a full 4K release. However, depending on where you get this depends on certain special features that are included on the disc. Now I'm reviewing the Arrow Video release that I've previously done an unboxing for, but this is available in other territories under the Criterion Collection label. And it's also fair to say for the release I'm talking about today, this is the NC-17 cut, so it's the full uncut version of this film. Now first up as always with the picture quality, the 4K transfer of this has been fully supervised by David Cronenberg and was originally done for the Criterion Collection release. That same transfer has been used for this Arrow video release. Now the film itself intentionally has a rather muted colour palette and is quite bleak. So that kind of washed out look that the picture has in this film is fully intentional. However, from this 4K transfer, the picture itself is actually very sharp. There is some film grain noticeable and the film retains its original aspect ratio. Now I haven't previously owned this film on home media so I didn't really have anything as a point of comparison but from what I could see the contrast levels etc on this picture were very very good and the image seemed sharp and seemed to work with the themes of the actual film itself. So I would say this is probably the best you can get in terms of the transfer. As I said it has been approved by the filmmaker and was also approved for Criterion prior to this Arrow release. So I'm hard pushed to offer much criticism over the picture quality that we have here. Now onto the audio quality, and this now receives a DTS 5.1 upmix from its original 2.0 stereo. Now this sounded pretty good to me. I didn't notice too much separation as again it's one of those films that doesn't really include those sort of effects. But the audio sounded good and the overall mix and balance with the score of the film added to the general uncomfortable feeling that you get from this. Now though it's curious that whilst they've done a 4K HDR version of the picture that they haven't done a Dolby Atmos or DTS-X mix with this, but the 5.1 works incredibly well. Again, much like the picture, I don't have a point of reference comparison, but in terms of overall quality, I would imagine that anyone buying this would be very happy with what's delivered here. Now onto the special features for this release, which are plentiful. There is absolutely hours of bonus content included here. However, again, due to rights in certain territories and with certain distributors, you don't actually get the 1997 audio commentary by David Cronenberg included on this version. That has been on some previous releases and is indeed on the Criterion Collection release that's available in North America, but unfortunately not on this version. You do, however, get a newly recorded commentary by film critic Adrian Martin. Now Adrian's commentary is very engaging and goes into lots of detail about this film, about David Cronenberg and about the themes that this film handles and obviously deals as well with the theme's legacy in retrospect. 
It's great that you get this audio commentary, although I do wish that the filmmaker commentary that was actually done at the time of the film was also included, but you can't have everything. Moving on though to the wealth of additional features that you get with this. First of all you get some 90 minutes of newly recorded interviews. Now these are broken up into four sections and include interviews with director of photography Peter Shasinski, producer Jeremy Thomas, music composer Howard Shaw and casting director Deirdre Bowen. Now these are all frequent collaborators of David Cronenberg and essentially these interviews talk about how they initially got in the business, their career up to the point of meeting David Cronenberg and then their collaborations with Cronenberg on his movies since. And of course they all pay particular reference to Crash. Now most of this is just talking heads to camera stuff but it is interwoven with some behind the scenes stills and photographs of films referenced etc. Now these interviews were all conducted in 2020 by High Rising Productions and as I said in total come up to approximately 90 minutes so lots to dig into here. Next up you get 30 minutes of archival interviews from 1996 with the cast and crew. Now these are obviously shorter interviews done during and around the time of the film's release and talked about and reflect specifically on this film. Now I believe this stuff had been available on previous releases so it's good that they've also been included here. Then you get 12 minutes of behind the scenes footage which literally is behind the scenes camera on set for the key freeway scenes, particularly the nighttime post crash scene on the freeway. The camera just hovers so you get to see what it's like on a film set with all departments doing their bits. And again, even though this is essentially raw footage, it's very nice that it's been included on this to give some insight into how one of Cronenberg's film sets run. Following that we get a 50 minute Q&A from the Toronto International Film Festival for a screening of Crash in 2019 where David Cronenberg is actually interviewed by frequent collaborator Viggo Mortensen. Now again they talk here about working relationships, the legacy of the film, the controversy surrounding the film when it was originally released. So it is fascinating to hear this discussed in retrospect. In contrast, we get a 1996 hundred minute Q&A with David Cronenberg, an author of the novel J.G. Ballard, which was conducted at the British Film Institute just following the film's release. Now again, it's nice to have something that was actually at the time that the film was released rather than in retrospect and the pair have quite an amusing conversation about each other's careers, about the adaptation of the book into the film and indeed about the press controversy surrounding it. This makes for quite a nice companion piece to the newer Q&A that's also included. You then get a newly produced video essay which was done in 2020 specifically for Arrow Video called Architect of Pain the Cronenberg Project and this looks specifically at Cronenberg's use of architecture within his films and covers his entire filmography including and beyond Crash. Now this is a decent video essay, it runs about 15 minutes and goes into quite a lot of detail about this specific aspect of David Cronenberg's films and is a nice new addition to the special features. And beyond that you really do get additional bang for your buck with this package because you get three short films that were inspired by the works of J.G. Ballard plus two short films from David Cronenberg himself. So there's actually quite a lot to get through in terms of special features on this release. Additionally you get the theatrical trailers included on this as well. So looking at scoring these uh, for the picture quality on this, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. I can't see a lot wrong with this, 
I didn't actually see this in its original theatrical run on the big screen so I don't actually have anything to compare it to and I haven't owned any previous home video releases. And interestingly this disc doesn't also include the Blu-ray to compare it to, it just includes the 4K UHD disc. But based on the clarity that I talked about I'm sure a 4.5 is a worthy score. For the audio I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Yes there's a 5.1 soundtrack, although many 4K UHDs nowadays include either a Dolby Atmos or a DTS-X track, so that's why I'm going to give it a 4, but as I've already said the audio is, is pretty decent on this as well. And for the special features I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. As I've said they are plentiful, in-depth and very interesting. The only reason I'm taking half a point off is because unfortunately it doesn't include the Cronenberg commentary from 97. As I said, I'm sure that's down to rights issues with different distributors. But for anyone that's interested in this film, there is a wealth of information included on this release. So that gives us a respectable score of 13 out of a possible 15 for this release. As I said, please check out my unboxing as well because I cover the limited edition version of this release which also includes a booklet and some postcards. And as always, I'll put links down in the description as to where you can find this, also where you can find the Blu-ray edition of this same release. So that brings me to the end of another home media minefield. I hope you found this information useful. If you did indeed, please do hit that thumbs up for a like, consider subscribing to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything moving forward and please do follow and share on social media, it all helps. If you've got any specific questions or comments then please put that down below and I will make every effort to answer those. If there's anything in particular that you'd like a review of, old or new, then please do put that in the comments and I'll see if I can help with that. But for now, I thank you for your time and I will see you at the next Home Media Minefield. Bye for now.